Welcome to the gathering of Hookstick, a disco funk band based on the Shropshire Borders. I'm going to first of all introduce you to Kerry, known as Kez, who is the lead singer with cracking vocals. Kez, how are you? I'm not bad, thank you, Nigel. How are you? I'm not bad at all. I'm this party gonna bad. kill me. I got a brain, don't tell me. Then my poor boys, they sell me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So back here with Kez now. Uh, Kez, just out of curiosity, how did you get involved with Hookstick? Um, you invited to join the band as a lead singer because they knew your vocals, because I know they sound absolutely superb. Well, I'm actually a prisoner. You're a prisoner? You were kicked out of prison? No, no. Not shoot me, not um, No, no. Um, I've known uh, Phil and Jane uh, for about four years, going on five years now. So oh. I've been working with them previous to Hookstick on a number of other music projects. And uh, and yeah, we just decided to uh, to do a disco funk project. And? And here we are. Yeah. Does it sound good? Because I think it sounds fantastic. I think we've finally found our sound. We've, we've been... Um, you know, we've been doing different genres of music yeah. and different fusions of different styles. And I think now we've we've sort of really found our sound and we've really got the right people involved and I think it's it's the synergy's there and, and it sounds really good. Cool. I mean, I, okay, I listened to it slightly earlier on and uh, I mean, the, your vocals obviously stand out. Everyone does what they're doing. It all seems to gel together as it should do. And I think you're going to, I think you're going for the big time. I think, we, you know, this Thank is you. this is the way forward. Yeah, this, we're all a bit skimped. We could do with the money, to be fair. Yeah. So, so do you do other things as well as this? I mean, obviously, this is relatively new. So do you do some singing as well with another band or yeah. out on the road doing your own thing? Yeah. I mean, I've been singing since I was about 12 years old, singing and playing guitar and writing music. So um, I do, you know, I, I make I make a little bit of a living as a yeah, musician. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. sing at weddings and, and I sing for other, for other bands, just mainly covers and things. So uh, it's nice... It's refreshing to do something that's more creative. With some really good lyrics as well. Yeah, yeah. Really, really catchy. Yeah, really catchy, funky lyrics. And we're talking about modern day times and what's relevant nowadays for, you know, for all of us, for yeah, all of our yeah. age groups. Cool. Yeah. I like that. Okay, guys, I think we'll pass it on now and we'll move on to somebody else. That's right with you. Yeah, that's fine. Fantastic. So I'm with Johnny now. Johnny is the uh, drummer in the band, and what a drummer he is! How, just out of curiosity, how many years have you been playing then, Johnny? Since I was what eleven, so about seventeen years. Seventeen so years. Oh, you look younger than I, I tell you now. And I see in the in the song you've got the middle eight in the middle. I presume that's probably one of the best parts of the song from your point of view. You let yourself loose and uh, get that rhythm out. Yeah, certainly, it was certainly out of character for me. I had a lot of fun doing it. Uh, this is uh, did some vocals on this and they played the drums as well obviously. I was going to come to that your vocals are good yeah. and you're, you're, a, you're a one man band almost you've got drums and vocals as well you play the guitar course. by the chance I can play quite a few instruments yeah. oh my drums word I mean. but it was funny because Did you go busking um, sorry busking I'm not doing a lot of busking no, no. Uh, but it was funny because we did all of the drums first and we recorded them and then we did the vocals separate yeah. and we did a lot of vocals and at the time didn't really think I'm going to have to play and sing this all, yeah. all at the same time so then we've come to the rehearsals and, and now I wish I just just hadn't done as many vocals <laughs> as I did so, but it, it's still it's all I'm, I'm getting there every time it works it, it works, works. It, works really it works and as long as you're happy with it and obviously it feels it fits in with everybody else as well what the heck right well it's good to meet you Johnny and uh, looking forward to the next session when I listen to your music right. Hands up, everybody got hands up, we gotta stand up, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so let me introduce you to Rachel. Rachel has the pleasure of playing the bass, and my word do you play, Rachel? How, are you, how long have you been playing the bass? Oh, um, am I allowed to say that? 32 years? 32 years. 32 years. So you're only young then? Yeah. 32 years. And just out of curiosity, because I saw you playing the bass, what kind of bass is that? Because I haven't seen a bass that looks like that. Is that a homemade bass or no, is, no, is it a very not. specialised bass? It's, um, I'm one of the few people, certainly locally, that plays a six string. So It's um, a, strict, uh, it's a, a six, six string, string bass rather than a four string yes. bass. Although, although the music is very commercial, yeah. actually the bass lines are quite demanding. And I'm using all of those six strings to get to to get that hook stick sound. You've got a good hook stick sound as well. So, and how how are you finding playing the disco funk coming out? Is this something new to you, or what's like the previous things, or what else do you play as one? Find me a bass player that doesn't like playing a bit of funk. Yeah. I mean, that's where it is, isn't it? Yeah. But actually, you know, in 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 the rest of the world, 
I'm a complete metalhead. A metalhead? Absolutely. As an Iron Maiden metalhead along don't those kind of lines. Don't let this calm and beauteous exterior fool you. That's a bit like me, that is. It's Trivium Slayer all the way for me, most wow. of the rest of the time. So this must be a completely, totally different... Yeah, but that's great, isn't it? Yeah, well, it is. What's music if not an exploration? Absolutely. And you've got to explore life with nothing else in music anyway. Right? Absolutely. Thanks for that, Rachel. So, next up, lead guitarist, it's Tom himself. <laughs> So we're back with Tom, and Tom's on lead guitar. Tom, you've got to tell me this. How long have you been playing lead guitar? Because you're a man that looks like he's been doing it a long time. Yeah, so it's been a while. Um, I first started when I was 12. Um, so it's, I'm 34, so 22 years. 22 about, years, yeah. yeah. Um, love guitar. Um, so that's pretty much what I do. And what, um, what's your, let's say, if your favourite style of music to play? I mean, okay, we're onto the like the disco funk doing this. Yeah. And you're obviously well into that, looking at what I've seen. I like um, I like a lot of styles of yeah. guitar. Um, my favourite at the moment is the finger style solo guitar. Yeah. Because I can explore um, lots of different sounds with it, with the percussion, and just trying to be a band on one guitar. But um, yeah, the funk thing is great because it's it's easy. You get, you just could. play a few chords and, and yeah. groove around and you've got a band so it's kind of feel good music are you one of these people who can play a guitar behind your back just out of curiosity um, yeah I, I, I only ask because I've only yeah. seen a couple of people yeah, ever do yeah. it but you look the kind of man a couple of licks there maybe yeah. but yeah. it's too heavy to lift up so I tend to sit down mostly <laughs> so does a disco funk style of music is that something that kind of flows with your, your fingers, your guitar? You, you can see you've got the rhythm there with it. Is this is something that you're, you, you're getting into more and more and more? Yeah, Obviously I think so. It's, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's fun to play. And um, and I like the bass and the drums and stuff that drives the rhythm. What about the vocals? And the vocals, yeah. But for the uh, amazing vocals, yeah. <laughs> yeah, vocals are awesome. But like for the funk, for the feeling, I like the groove. And yeah. So I tend to listen more to the, the drums and the, the bass lines. And, and pick stuff. it up from that. Yeah, because that's where I sit, sort of just in with that, and I kind of just nestle in with those guys, you know. Cool. Uh, Good. Uh, well, thanks for that, Tom, and cool. uh, we'll uh, look forward to the next session. Nice one. Me too. And next thing now, we're going to do musical chairs. We'll be back in a minute. It'll fly to you, fly to you, yeah. Right, so I'm back now with Phil. Phil, you're uh, one of the keyboard players. There's two keyboard players see in the in. in yeah, the I've played keyboards along with Jane, who's really the one to talk about because it's really her project, the whole thing. But we'll get on to that in a bit. You know, okay. Hearing from her. So I would imagine you've got a bit of history, bit of history in the music in the music industry. Yeah, a very, very long history in the music industry. Well, yeah. keeping it short, give us a quick burst of... Right, OK, well, I've been a engineer and producer for the best part of 40-something years, right from as soon as I could do it as a child, right up to the present day. I've worked in some fairly big studios with some big names in the past, but now we've got our own studio, Beehouse Recording Studios, out here in Flanbuthlin. And... Um, we decided it's about time we started doing something of our own. So, uh, and something sort of a bit different as well. Yeah, we thought disco funk would be a good area to go into, especially in times of recession and Brexit and all the rest. We yeah. thought we'd Happy bring music. something along here to cheer people up yeah. and have a bit of fun. It makes me smile, I've got to be honest. It brings yeah. back fun yeah. memories of when I was younger, because yeah. you know, in that yeah. age when it was about kind of ish, bordering, like it was fading out. But yeah, I think you without must a be doubt. younger than me then. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. 54. It's exactly the same. So. There you go. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, do you think the band now is all coming together as a unit? You've only been together a couple of times, haven't you, to it's, practice properly? It's and... quite incredible, considering they're all sort of people that have either been invited or asked to join. Yeah. Um, we couldn't have handpicked a better band. We've got some of what I consider the very best talent around. Super. Not just here, I think on a world stage. We've got some amazing musicians in this band. We recorded more or less by numbers, um, sitting down, you know, as a, a production, recording all the parts separately. A lot of them hadn't even met till we started rehearsing. Oh, that's only but, recently? Yeah, the last few weeks. Fantastic. But now they've met, they've gelled almost instantly. Oh, that's super. Like a little family. Yeah. Got a little yeah. family unit there. Yeah. 
Everyone knows what they're and doing. It's a real good spirit, good uh, feel about the whole thing. Everybody seems very happy with it, and I certainly am. I've enjoyed this more than a lot of things I've done. Cool. Well, you seem happy at the moment, Henry. Really. Yeah. They do tell me other things. No, <laughs> <laughs> right. Thanks for that, Phil. We'll uh, take another musical uh, musical chair session, and we'll be back shortly with uh, with Jane. You're my lover. It's a natural. Welcome back. I'm now back with Jane. And uh, Jane, is it right you're the songwriter of these wonderful songs I've been listening to? Yes, I am the songwriter. Um, they're all sort of ideas that I had. Um, I, I set myself a project, I suppose, because I used to write a lot of different songs. And they all used to be very different. And we have released a lot of tracks, but we found that we didn't have tracks that were had any synergy. So it was very difficult to promote them and to say where they came from or who the audience was or anything like that mm. so um, at some point we decided well we've got to write to a genre and so we sort of sat down and thought well what is commercial what is what do we like and, and what's complicated enough that it's going to challenge us and so on and, and, and we disco came to funk. disco funk yes. because disco funk is all of those things yeah. um, it's fun it is demanding it's very demanding on musicians yeah. and it's um it's creative and it's nice and it's also very feel good. It's it's, which, it's which seriously feel good. Yeah, I mean, mm. what what I've heard of what you guys are doing, it's fantastic. I mean, your lyrics, you know, the songwriting, you must sit there for hours doing it. I mean, inspiration obviously comes at some point, and then you sit down and do what you've got to do, and it's like I don't know where you get it from. Yeah, I mean, some of the things are they they do actually sort of bleed in from what's going on 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 the radio, on television, on the world, on the world. or my kids, yeah. or what, what problems that they yeah. they're approaching because they're teenagers and they. Yeah. It's kind of their, their lives and what their expectations are and things. And, yeah. and there's particularly Refugee. Um, Refugee is a track about where young people actually think they're going to and where they actually end up. Yeah. Um, and, and nowadays, that's, it's, it's, no, it's not so certain where they're going to end up. No, it's a scary it's, side of life, so, isn't it? It's like, like yeah. to a 20 and 18, and mm. you think, where are they going to go in the next 10 years? And, and Refugee, which I've listened to that with you. and, and mm. So they do make it, we, yeah. do, we do make it fun. But uh, at the same time, we're making a point. Yeah. You know, so it's, yeah. I suppose that's, that's where it is. And it's music that can, you just sit there with a smile or you stand there stamping yeah. your feet and moving to the music. Yeah. So you've been in the industry as well, like Phil, obviously you've been in a while, you've been in this mm. presumably a long time as well. I've, I've always written music. I haven't always been in the music industry. Right. So, but that started when I, I met Phil in 1991. 1991. 1995, sorry. Shall I do that again? No, don't worry. Just keep going. It's fine. It's fine. Sorry. No, don't worry. I was going to say, I was going to say something, but don't worry. It'll come back in a minute. Okay. Mm. Okay. So you've you've got the group together now, and obviously it's relatively new. It's mm. starting to gel. I would think definitely from where what I've seen and listened to. Mm. Album, EP, single. What kind of road do you think maybe you're going to? Well, at, next. at the moment we have an album lined up, right? Which now we've sort of got ourselves a deadline of next February to complete. Okay. Um, good. And at that point, it's going to be promoted. A couple of the tracks will be promoted um, on the radio, and will that be before February or, or no? Not that, till will, February? that won't be till February because yeah. uh, we're still not sure which ones. Although we've got um, some that have been kind of approved. Yeah. Um, we haven't finished yet and we have other things that we're going to put to uh, the people who make the decisions. Yes, yes. And then hopefully they can say, oh, well, actually, we like, you know, that, we one. like that one better. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, we give them choices. Yeah. Um, they're all sort of, they are attached to each other, all the tracks that have a, a connection, if you like, because they're played by the same musicians, they've got similar sounds in them. Yes. But yes. they are all still very different and different emotions and different feelings and, and so different lyrics as well, which yeah. take you down that line as you say of emotions and mm. yeah. Ah, yeah. I like that, I like that. So looking for the future, plans maybe ahead, February looking like the music comes out album wise. At that point we're long we term... looking to tour. Fantastic. Um UK and, tour. Uh, well we're hoping to, yes. Followed by um, Who knows? We, we're very open-minded about where we tour, yeah. and it just does depend on what opportunities come our way once we start promoting the tracks as well. Excellent. 
Um, but that's one of the reasons we, we'd, we'd like to make, you know, something to show people what we're doing. Yeah, yeah. You know, to, to sort of get it Nice to talk to somebody who's thinking on a positive side as well, because I'm not saying the world's in a negative world nowadays, but you guys, I think you are all positive talking to all, all of you. I mean, everyone's, everyone's fired up for it, hyped up for it, doing their bit, yeah. gels it all together. Someone's positive there in the front as well. What can, what can you, what more do you want, really? Yes, I guess I just want to cheer people up. A Quick question, bit, hook stick, where the name come from? Ah, the hook stick. Well, we were, I suppose when we were trying to think of that, we were going along the lines of trying to think of an engineering implement. And I have not quite an idea in my head as to why okay. we wanted to do that, but we were going through lists. And we came across the hook stick. A hook stick is actually just a long pole with a hook on the end of it, which is used, I think, just to... Do to, windows. To do, well, something or like that. undo yes, things or, or whatever. That's the type yeah. of thing. It's a very simple thing. Yeah. Um, but we just thought, from. hook is a hook. We want lots of hooks and we want them to stick. Fantastic. <laughs> so, as simple as that. So that's what, and of course it, it does kind of reference things because I mean you think of Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick and you think yeah. of, of uh, Dr. Hook and all those things. I think a t-shirt kind of like, saying, have you been hook sticked? Mm, yeah. That sounds very good to me actually. Yeah, you know, that idea. Mm. Right, well great to talk to you and yeah, uh, you well it's great to talk to everybody to be honest and yeah, yeah. I hope you've enjoyed the interviews that we've, well I've done with, with the band members. Um, it's been a pleasure talking to him today and uh, looking forward to next February and fingers crossed you'll like the music and the short uh, film that um, Phil's going to put together with the clips that we've done so far. Thank you very much. Don't you know